downtown Milwaukee is seen from the shore of Lake Michigan on a cloudless day. Welcome everyone. The regular season is in the books. The battle for the East begins. Round one, game one. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sidelines. Hey, Dave. Well, the maturity and poise of a young Jason Tatum has often been talked about. Maybe that's because his parents prepared him for the NBA from an early age in St. Louis. They had pretend press conferences using a hairbrush as the microphone. As you can say, he's been groomed for this. And it's paying off. Guys? Yeah, they dotted every I and crossed every T. David, thank you. And now the opening lineup for Boston. Walker and Smart, the guards. Tatum and Hayward make up the two forward spots. And it's Horford in its center locking down the middle. And for Milwaukee, we've got Brogdon. Noah is out there with Favors. And then there's Antetokounmpo. And it's Hill in at the point. Celtics off the tip. Hayward dishes to Walker. And the call will be against George Hill. That is his first call of the game. Well, that was a quick foul for him there. The refs are certainly calling it close. Pass to Walker. The Celtics working the ball around now. Here's Horford. How about the great effort, though, of Noah defensively, just using every inch of his frame to throw off shooters. Passes it to Fabers. Here's Hill from deep. They get it back. And that one's good, Brogdon. And the first of many to come. Explosive offensive talent on both sides. Boy, I tell you what, that's going to be like a pinball machine, the way that scoreboard's going to light up. Brogdon against Smart. Down to five on the shot clock. Horford, no luck. Total breakdown from the defense there. I mean, he'll usually take advantage when that's the case. He'll find such a combo. the pass to Favors. And it's sent back by Horford. First quarter, about a minute and a half in. Tatum passes to Smart. A second chance effort. Milwaukee with the rebound. Well, you know, this is what happens. You can't afford to lose concentration even for a nanosecond. And stolen by Tatum. Shots good by Walker. So slick and smooth with the ball in his hands. Walker enjoys breaking out these moves, cutting defenders to shreds with those ball skills. And the call will be against Al Horford. That is his first foul of the game. Favors kicks to Hill. Pass to Brogdon. Shot clock at six. Here's Favors. That's another miss. Already they've missed three out of four to start. And again, the Bucks miss. They now take the lead. Good read from Tatum that time. Saw the defense had overcommitted and then made them pay with the sweet dime. Well done. Pass to Antetokounmpo. in the pass to Noah. Giannis with it, and it's Horford picking him up. On to Takubo with the bucket. He does not lack for confidence. He should. I mean, this guy is a dangerous scorer. Smart against Brogdon. Horford kicks to Smart. Austin needs to get off his shot. For three, Hayward. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Hayward's got five points so far. A tough cover out there. You want to close out hard on Hayward, but you also have to respect his ability to take you off the bounce. Good offense squaring up against better D there. You got to appreciate that stop. From 
on eight. And there are the Celtics with another basket. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. Here's Giannis. Outside Hill. Rebound, Gordon Hayward. And here's Hayward. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. Tatum kicks to Walker. He dishes it to Hayward. It's stolen by Hill. Now here's Hill, the fast break opportunity. He can't hit that time. And it's Boston the other way. And they have certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have. Staying aggressive and playing under control. Passes it to Hayward. Shot clock at five. Al Horford over Favors. Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the miss. Oh, you know he wants that one back. I mean, more often than not, he'll sink that mid-range jump. Hill finds Noah. Antetokounmpo with the ball. Over Tatum. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It goes on Jason Tatum. And you know, at almost seven feet tall, Antetokounmpo is it's dangerous down inside really I mean the defense has to be physical with him if they want to have a chance at preventing him from scoring in the paint this is his first free throw of the game and the first one at the line is good yeah, Anna Nakumpo has really learned how to get himself to the foul line. It's one of the easiest ways to score the ball. He gets to the stripe at a higher clip with each passing year. Tony Snell's checked in for Milwaukee. Both free throws good from Anna Nakumpo. 35 seconds left in the first quarter. Smart dishes to Horford to the paint. Here's Walker. The shot's good on the assist by Horford. An elite distributor for a pick man. Horford is the kind of guy you want to play basketball with. Walker against Hill. With one on the clock. And that does it for the first quarter. Celtics out in front. Leading by five. And the second quarter will get underway just after this short break. Wow. Well, there are a lot of letters that go into the spelling of Giannis Antetokounmpo's last name. He helps set the record straight of how you pronounce it. In the Greek way, you got to say with a D. So it's Antetokounmpo. But in the Greek way, you say with an NT, like Antetokounmpo. Whatever you got, just say, you know, it's Giannis Antetokounmpo. <laughs> Seems easy enough, right? <laughs> I guess so. I think a lot of people are going to stick with Giannis or the Greek freak. And we're ready to get back into the action here in game one. Let's see what this quarter has in store for us. And what do you guys think about Boston here in this one? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you look at the energy, the effort defensively. They put it all out there in that opening quarter. Ponte Jacumbo is out there with Tony Snell. Then it's Ilya Silva. Then there's Hill. And it's Stauskas in a shooting guard. So that's who Milwaukee starts the second one. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for Boston. Well, I like the fact they've already been getting a lot of high-quality shots in the paint. Break. And also another Good aspect shot. of their game that's been super so far tonight is how they've been sharing the basketball. First one falls for him. And, you know, there's no question about it. Hayward is an exciting player and an athletic forward who can really, really score. Hayward hits them both. Bucks trail by seven. And Zo onto the Kumbo looking over it. Shot on the wing. A shot off that time. And it's Boston the other way. 
Hayward at the elbow, and Hayward at the stuff. Boy, Brown not just a super athlete, folks, but he's got excellent skills as well. A tremendous floor general. Here's the lob at Nakumbo. Oh, my goodness. They say that one. I, I want to see that again. Me too. Just absolutely beautiful. Virtually impossible to top that alley-oop. The pass to Hayward. Left side, Williams. Lock at six. Here's Tatum. Rebound collected by Snell. The Bucks have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. And to Takumbo. Great D that time from Tatum. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. Hayward passes to Williams. Dishes it to Walker. Iliasova comes up with the rebound. And so he'll bring it up for the Bucks. They trail by seven. And Hunter Takumbo gets it to go. Giannis has got his third basket of the night right there. The patience that Anthony Takumbo plays with is really impressive for such a young guy. I mean, he doesn't rush anything. Hayward dishes to Williams. And here's Tatum for three. Milwaukee with the rebound. Here's Hill. That's his first basket of the game. One for six and looking for more. And I think the mid-range spot of the floor is where Hill excels most. He knocks down that shot with great regularity. And there's the call on Giannis Antetokounmpo. That's his first foul. Wilson, he's checked in for Tony Snell. Rajon Rondo's checked in for Boston. And for those of you just joining us in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by. Here's Hayward banked in off the glass. Hayward's got six in the quarter. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Outside Wilson. Just five on the clock. Here's Giannis. Excellent D there from Williams. Celtics leading by five. And shot opportunity that will not get it done he's over two there's the lob and the kumbo hammers the alley -oop through love the read there from onto the i mean his basketball iq is really impressive when it comes to alley -oop attempts outside williams on the wing run shoots it drops one in from the wing and the Celtics lead by five. Here's Giannis. He's got ten. 130 left in the first half. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. Ande Dekumbo's got 12. You know, so far, he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. Right side, Rondo. Pass to Williams. Over Hill. Another miss by Williams. Bucks have gotten just over 50% of their shots to drop here in the second quarter. They're five for nine. Giannis passes to Wilson. Kicks it to Ilias over. Just five to shoot. Here's Hill. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Pass to Brown. A three. Wilson grabs the board. Here's Milwaukee now. They're on a 12-4 run right now. And Giannis throws it down. And onto the Kumpo is just a blur. I mean, I don't know how a seven-foot guy with that wingspan and all legs and arms can be a blur, but man, he's like a lightning bolt when he gets room to roll to the basket. Hayward with the ball. Over to the wing, out of bounds. Milwaukee takes possession. Giannis 
Torres on it Kumbo. He's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Milwaukee Bucks. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thanks. Here with Mike Putenholzer. Your defense has been very good. Why has that happened? Well, you know, I think our guys are committed on that end. Uh, everybody's active. Everybody's covering for each other. And we know how important it is. Mike, we'll see if it continues in the next quarter. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, there's a definite postseason buzz in the air. Welcome back, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Kenny Smith, and Shaquille O'Neal. Well, from Milwaukee, they hung tough in what was a closely contested first half. If what we've seen in game one so far is any indication, we're going to have quite a series on our hands. Kenny, your thoughts on the Bucks' first half? Well, so far, they've taken care of their business here at home. It's something you might expect, but it's not a given. We'll see if they can keep that up in the second half. And Shaq, your thoughts on the Celtics? You know, they didn't play it too safe. They made some really nice shots. Those are some much needed points. I mean, keep them right in the As long as they stay on the same page and keep working together, they got a great chance to take control of this game. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. You look at Enetokounmpo in this one. He's been everywhere. And with all the pressure he must have felt coming into this one, it didn't phase him one bit. Fantastic start. Yeah, you know, I think he relishes the pressure, especially in a big game like this one. He really eats that stuff up. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. Third quarter action getting rolling right now. Brought to you by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Here's who's on the floor. On the floor for Boston. Tatum and Hayward make up the two forward spots. Walker in smart, the guard. And it's Horford in at the center. Shots good by Walker. And Walker always shot ready. This is why you can't lay off of it, especially when the ball's going towards him. Hill against Walker. to shoot. Brogdon inside the line. Walker with the rebound. And Walker's got the ball here for the Boston Celtics. Softly drops in the floater. Walker's got nine. Boy, that speed and aggressiveness. Walker is a force in transition. Very hard to keep up with. Here's Yuck. And onto the Kumbo slams it in. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Somebody you can count on. He is an extremely reliable finish. And even three-on-three three break. And the jam by Andrew Dekumbo. And when the Greek freak takes flight, I mean, he's looking to tear that rim apart. So ferocious in his throwdown. Hill against Walker. Over Hill. Misses off the left iron. Boy, you've really got to put those away, especially against soft interior defense. Giannis against Tatum. To the inside, Brogdon. Boy, I tell you, for a big guy, the passing skills of Noah. Impressive, awesome man. Getting the ball over to the open man. And Walker kicks to Tatum. Nice ball movement by Boston. Walker's shot is off. Milwaukee leading by four. Hill passes to Brock. Down low. Here's onto Takumbo, and it's sent back by Horford. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, their offense has ground to a standstill. Teardrop shot, and Walker gets it to go on the assist by Horford. Walker's got seven points for the quarter. Yeah, the first half was one to deep six or forget. But in the second half, he's looked a lot better. 
Passes it to Antetokounmpo. Over Tatum. And it's Giannis missing. I don't know how that one doesn't go in. Nice cushion between him and the defender. Walker finds Hayward. A miss that time would have put him up. For Milwaukee, they've gone 4-7 to get things started here in the second half. Rocked in the pass to Faber. It's out of the Kumbo on the wing. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting fouls. And really, Antetokounmpo never stops attacking. I mean, he's always in attack mode. He really forces the defense's hand. He keeps pressure on them at all times. Shoot two. That's good from out of the Kumbo. And the Bucks with some changes. Tony Snell comes in for Joaquin Noah. And it's Quirkmize in for Hill. Then for the Celtics, Daniel Tice comes in for Gordon Hayward. And it's Brown in for Jason Tatum. Both good from the line that time. Celtics trail by four. Smart kicks to Horford. On the wing, Brown. The pass to Walker. For the three, it's in and good for his sixth field goal in 10 attempts. You know, he was a non-factor in that first half, but now he's making up for lost time. Here's Korkmaz, guarded by Smart. Ogden against Walker. Ogden the pass to Fabers. Misses in close. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. Horford finds Walker. And it's Tice in the corner. Down to five on the shot clock. And no good. Had a chance to take the lead there. Antetokounmpo passes the favor. Hey, and, you know, really, Antetokounmpo can look to score every time, and sometimes that's necessary, but he's also good at recognizing when one of his teammates has a clean look. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks' lead is cut down to just one on the basket from Walker. Rocked in the pass to Favors. The dish to Antetokounmpo. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Giannis has got 10 points here in the second half. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot end. Here's Brown. Great tee that time from Favors. Bucks leading by three. On the wing, Giannis. Guarded by Horford. Favors trying to break free, and it's Giannis missing. That's one he knows he should have drained. Shot's good by Walker. Walker's got 18 points in the game. Hey, it's all about how you think, and the mindset of Walker, impressive. He can score in a lot of ways and dominates on offense with virtual ease. Here's Hansa Takumbo. Two points, that one goes. Hansa Takumbo's got 26 points. Three quarters of play in a close game here. Bucks lead by three. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter underway. And it's time to bring up the State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. Malcolm Brogdon out there with Corkmans. Then there's Tony Snell. Then there's Favors. And it's Janice in at the four. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. Shots good by Walker. Got to give Walker all the credit. I mean, clever went inside, refusing to let the defense have the upper hand. Brogdon kicks to Giannis. On 
the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. And I tell you, it's ridiculous how much space Antetokounmpo covers in just two strides. I mean, the way he handles himself going to the basket, and it is one sight to see. And Tice gets it to go. You know, that's how you do it, guys. I mean, he passed his way out of the double team and into an easy basket. Korkmaz kicks to Snell. The Bucks working the ball around. Here's Brogdon. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one on Horford. And, you know, the 2016-17 Rookie of the Year continues to impress. Brogdon is a valuable role player who does a lot of things well. Noah is checked in for Milwaukee. Hill comes in for Korkmaz. Gordon Hayward's checked in for Boston. Tatum comes in for Jalen Brown. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. Hayward can hit. So Favors will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. It's a three-point game. In the corner, it's Brogdon. And he converts the layup. Brogdon's got four points now in the quarter. You know, Malcolm Brogdon is not the biggest guy, but that does not stop him from being aggressive and assertive inside. in the post. Hills there. You're smart. That shot missing. Good D by Brogdon. Pass to Giannis. But they recover it. And so the ball's out of bounds. Favors touched it last. Celtics trail by five. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Smart misses. Bucks have gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. And a slam dunk by Favors. Oh, oh <laughs> inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Now's the time to do it. Keep attacking that rim. Here's Walker. That one finds the mark. It's the tenth time he's done that tonight on 14 shots. That's an aspect of Walker's game that I like. I mean, his ability to use the dribble drive and score on the move, nice. Here's Antetokounmpo. Good, and a nice assist from Noah. Noah's got three assists now in this one. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Another rebound hauled in. They're hitting the glass with a lot of passion. Guys, that's been the key to their lead. I mean, simply put, the effort they've displayed on the glass has been the difference. His hard work on the backboard really just has given them more opportunities to score. And here's Hayward. Pass to Horford. Out left to the wing. Six to shoot. Shoots from the elbow. And with that, the Bucks lead is cut to just seven on the basket from Gordon Hayward. Bucks have gone five of seven from the field since the beginning of the fourth. Strong work at that end of the floor. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Side, smart. The three sinks the triple. And now just a four-point Milwaukee lead. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. And to the combo. The shot will not fall. 
Good work defensively by Horford. Here's Hayward. Milwaukee with the rebound. Their biggest lead of the game was not inside. Howard down after the assist. Let him into the lane. Outstanding poise from out from Brockton. Relishes any chance he gets to be the man in the clutch. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. They're trailing by six. 46 seconds left in the game. Hey, but I can't take a loss. I throw it up. Hey, I live in a luxury. Where I'm from? The summer league. You would think this is the summer league. I was in hope you've been there with the rookie. Really used to shake when it did over 60. I'm a complete because they didn't be it. Only got stronger because it didn't. The man on the vibe. I like they are, but they're not on my side. I went to it. Nobody cried because this every day and it's not a surprise. This how it is, the day in the life. Check all your mirrors while you at the light. I'm from a place that nobody goes. Better than you really don't stay to a close. And now let's present our Jordan player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alder. Hey, guys. Well, I was able to listen in on what Brad Stevens was talking about with his players. He said, we've got to pick it up right here, right now. If we're going to win this game. We have to take control. This is the time. Kevin. Thank you, David. Smart finds Horford. Outside, Walker from downtown. Goes back up. Horford, no luck. And that's an intentional foul. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. And now they decide to foul intentionally. At the line for your Bucks, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Two shots. Shooting two. And he cannot get the first one to drop. Tough one to miss. And that trip coming up empty. Missing both. And here's Hayward. He'll bring it up for the Celtics. They trail by six. Walk. It's rebounded by Noah. And it's the Bucks ball. And an intentional foul right there. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And Hill is really kind of a nice, subtle mix of explosiveness and outstanding defense. A guy who plays both ends of the floor with equal efficiency and effectiveness. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's an eight-point game. Now a timeout called by Boston. They're down by eight. 19 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Guys, your thoughts? And I don't think they'll be able to climb out of this hole. You know, maybe working on their 60-second drill, even if it doesn't pay off tonight, maybe for the future.
And the Celtics with possession here. Here's Horford. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. You know, he was the third pick in the 2007 NBA draft, guys. Horford won two college championships in Florida back-to-back -back before entering the league. And no good as the first free throw missing for him. We'll see if he can nail the second. the second one and that narrows the gap to seven here's DiVincenzo and so the Bucks take the win a pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series you know Kevin momentum so so critical and you know they'll want to ride this wave into game two a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Joe. Nice win tonight. What was your team's attitude coming into the game? Yeah, we, we played hard tonight. We're getting better. We're getting better. We just got to keep going. You know, it's a work in progress. And, uh, you know, we just got to keep fighting, keep fighting, and uh, get as many W's as possible. Well, the trend line is looking good so far right now, Joe. Thanks again. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. And we'll see you next time.